Well, last time we were here, we tried a lot of Halloween treats. Yeah. The problem is there's more. Oh dear. Well, oh good. There's criteria. We want Halloween-based cereals. We have two classics, of course, Frankenberry and Count Chocula. We couldn't find them. Booberry. Now, we could do this all day with like Halloween shapes. We wanted to go with anything that was uniquely flavored or uniquely designed for Halloween. So we found two Cheetos varieties, Bag of Bones, Flamin' Hot. And this is Bag of Bones White Cheddar. So I'm not sure why, like for Halloween, I want something Flaming Hot and Cheesy. Like if there was like a, a Halloween flavor, what would you say it is? Pumpkin spice. Uh, pumpkin spice. Apple. Uh, yeah, apple. And then maybe apple. chocolate. But not flaming hot cheese. No, but I mean, what are you gonna make? Pumpkin spice Cheetos? And then finally we have a third. Hershey's caramel apple filled milk chocolate. That sounds like it's right up your alley. Yeah. Uh, the only thing is Hershey's chocolate's really kind of lousy nowadays. It got way worse. It used to be a lot better. Now it's got tons of sugar in it. I'm ready for breakfast, lunch, and dessert. I think I had Count Chocula once or twice when I was a kid. Yep. I don't know that I've ever had Frankenberry. I don't know how that I have either. Maybe like a long time ago. So you want to just start with a nice chocolatey cereal? Sure. We've still got our lovely spider bowls. These are all marshmallow-based cereals. Okay. We picked this up on the way here. Yep. And we can't figure out if it's 1%, 2% or whole. It's whole. The color of the cap tells you what, what type of milk That's what is. I thought, but I've been married to a vegan for so long. <laughs> don't they nope. say that when, when you don't know the cost of a gallon of milk, you've lost touch with the common yeah. man? How much does a gallon of milk cost? I don't know. <laughs> Little skull heads. And I like that the marshmallows are kind of Halloween colored. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Mm. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. It's good. It's a lot like Cocoa Puffs. It's got a strong corn taste to me, which kind of reminds me of Captain Crunch. But the marshmallows are good. The milk is turning to chocolate quickly. Yep. The back of the box says, everyone's invited to the Monster's Bash. It's how many familiar faces can you spot in the crowd? And I can easily spot Cuckoo the Cocoa Man. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, Pillsbury Doughboy, a leprechaun, oh, you know. Uh, uh, Lucky Charms, What's yeah. his name, though? Lucky. Lucky. I don't know who this is. Nope. These must be all owned by the same parent company, General Mills? I, I would assume so. These are like seasonal only. I'm kind of excited for some Frankenberry because I like me some artificial strawberry flavoring. Do you love strawberry quick? I haven't had it in so long. I need a little milk. I, I drank my milk because it was a little chocolatey. It, it didn't get nearly as chocolatey as some other cereals. A Cocoa Krispies? Yes, Cocoa Krispies, for example. That's like just a tool to make Cocoa Krispy flavored milk. You bought the milk, which was white when it started, but it's chocolate now because it's Cocoa Puffs and I've been sitting here for nine hours. Same cereal shape. I like it. It's very, very fruity sugary. It reminds me of Just Eating Crunch Berries from Captain Crunch. It doesn't taste like any actual fruit. Rudy Tooty, fresh and fruity? Mm-hmm. You have white marshmallows, a nice blue marshmallow, and a purple marshmallow. These are too sugary for breakfast. I mean. Cereal in general is too sugary for breakfast. I kind of like these more than quite a few of the cereals we had last time. We're gonna try the Flamin' Hots. Oh my God, they're super red. They look like they're gonna burn me to a crisp. <laughs> I had like Flaming Hot Cheetos recently, and yeah, the whole thing was unpleasant. They're very um, light. Oof. Ooh baby. <laughs> ooh baby, ooh baby. They're not bad, but they're too hot for me. It's all the pieces of a skeleton. Well, except the hip. Most of the ones I have here are uh, chest. I don't know anybody who wants to just snack on something horribly spicy. I have to like stop. I think as you probably ate more, the spice would come way down. Like you'd get used to it, but they're still pretty hot. These look more my speed. White cheddar. This is also a bag of bone shapes. I love how they're super fresh. Maybe because it's seasonal, they only made them not too long ago. Okay, milk chocolate filled with caramel apple. Let's try it. I hope the apple isn't too like uh, outrageously artificial. I wonder if you put two of these together, do they make a proper sized apple? Does it make like <laughs> a real apple apple? Too sweet, man. I don't know oh. what it is. I don't want it to go like very dark or anything. Just not so sweet. I like the sweetness level in the Frankenberry, but this is outrageously sweet. The caramel is actually nice and the apple's nice. It just all needs to be pulled back. I'm just getting a lot of apple and chocolate. And I bet they do the same product in Europe and I bet it's probably a lot more to my palate. Lately, I've been going to a lot of German chocolate. Ocean State job lot. Really? Yeah, they get all kinds of weird ass chocolate in, and they sell it at a discount. <laughs> I buy quite a bit of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I want some more Frankenberry. You need some more milk? Let's just keep doing these. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna buy us products so we just eat them? Fine. <laughs> that was great.